Join us for the following previews. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf, and I have with me the Jakes. Hey, hi, classic Jake. Say hi. Say hi, new Jake. Say hi. All right, so welcome to April 2021. The April Fool's edition of uh, 3D and 2D releases for April of 2021. So That's a long list. Um, do you know what 3D movies are guaranteed to come out next month? Or in the in month of April? Uh, Jake's? No. I don't know. Coming soon to theaters and cinemas near you. Depending where you are in the world, we may get it in 3D. It may still come out in 3D here, but right now, as a record date, we don't know for sure. That is Mortal Kombat. Ooh. Um, so... What are you guys excited for Mortal Kombat? Yes. Yeah, the trailer looked interesting. Yeah, the first one looked kind of boring, but the second one was oh, the kick ass. So I definitely hope this is a 3D movie. Um, and I I think it would look cool in 3D. But it's you know R rated movies are kind of very rare for 3D, and I haven't gotten any confirmation from any theaters that Mortal Kombat is in 3D anywhere. So. Maybe it depend. It might be in China. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let us know if you find out. Yeah, I man. I found like posters. I don't know if they're real posters, but uh, they they said like it's in real D three D and IMAX. But who who knows at this point? It's you can't tell from the trailers anymore because they'll just say in theaters and HBO Max. Nothing else about formats. Yep. Yeah. So that's where it, it kind of is like I guess. I don't know if this is a 3D movie or not because I can't really tell. Um, release date, you know, it, it's coming out on April 16th. So maybe, depending where you are, it might be come out in 3D. It might be like a very limited thing. It might, I don't know. It, it's such a iffy thing right now with 3D movies. If, if the movie comes out, is 3D or not? So we're talking about it because it might be. But uh, okay, uh, I just went onto the official website. It is officially 3D. Ooh! So we'll try to review that for you if a 3D showing is nearby. <laughs> um. mm-hmm. uh, I will attempt with with re. I'm gonna play force majeure here. Uh, <laughs> I, if it's within if it's within a hundred miles of me in 3D, I can pretty much guarantee I can see it. Well, we'll have to see how things move along, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll try our best to review it in 3D if it's available, but it's it's always hard because right now some theaters have it, some theaters don't have it. I don't know. It, it just you just don't know. Uh, and uh Regal hasn't reopened yet and uh where I live it, Regal has an air monopoly. So mm-hmm. theaters are closed and uh, we have one art house that's struggling, and our bargain theater shut down for good. So another, oh, that's a shame. another noteworthy three mm-hmm. D or another. It's a noteworthy two D movie, The Mitchells versus the Machines. This was going to come out in three D by Sony, but then now it got put onto Netflix. So that's supposed to come out at the end of April, April thirtieth. Um, look fun. Oh, is that the one where uh, they're taking the daughter to college and aliens that invade or something like that? Yeah, like it starts off the trailer. It was connected before. That's what the title was, connected. And then it was like a family. Oh, let's uh, get off our phones and be a family and have an adventure. Go camping because, you know, whatever is going to go to college. And then aliens attack. And... It sounds like connected. Yeah, so that's what it was. They got renamed. Okay. This so it went from one get, title to another. Yeah, it might get a 3D release on home video, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not from Sony, no. Well, They've done a 3D release since 2017, 2018. Well, unless you count Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Verse got a, uh, and so did uh, this, the the Marvel Spider Man movies. Yeah, and Venom. Yeah. yeah. So we might we might get lucky in Germany or Australia. Maybe. Or- or India, or Brazil, or Mexico. This is a, a Netflix exclusive, so I, I wonder if Netflix is going to hold the ball and be like, nope, just to be on Netflix, you can't you know, get it this uh, version. The Crouching yeah. Tiger movie got a 3D release in uh, China. But is, is it going to be Netflix just in the States, or is it going to be worldwide release? That's the real question. 
Yeah, so that's a interesting thing. Yeah, without knowing that, because that can... We'll see. Uh, I, I think there's a sliver of hope for a 3D release on home video, and maybe 3D theatrical release in certain markets in the world, but... I'm just sad that Soul didn't get a 3D release, which it would have been perfect. I know. I'm <sighs> still hoping that someday somebody will come to their senses and we'll get a 3D uh, home release for that. Maybe. All right, let's move on to 3D Blu-rays. Coming soon to 3D Blu-ray. Uh, this movie, uh, Classic Jake, you may know, I have no idea what this is, called Dynasty 3D? Oh, that's an awesome martial arts movie from the 70s. And I also saw this in 3D with red and blue glasses in the theater. I saw the red and blue glasses version. on. It's had several names. Uh, I am looking forward to this. Inc- I'm hoping they correct. There's been some alignment issues over the years. Uh, and 3D Archive is great at fixing those. So mm-hmm. I am... It, this is a with sight unseen. This is a must buy. Oh, it's Kino Lorber doing the actual Blu-ray release, and uh, they've done good work. So I mm-hmm. think you're going to be in good hands. And it comes with the anaglyph and the actual real 3D, so you can recreate mm-hmm. your childhood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And people who don't have 3D uh, uh, television setups can watch this. Yeah, anaglyph yeah. is great, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. I kind of wish it was the the pink and the green glasses, which those are easier on the eyes, but it's there if you want to see it in 3D. Mm -hmm. So that's the only uh, 3D Blu-ray that I saw is coming out in April. Um, So, hey, that's actually something, though. Um, Apparently, Wonder Woman 84 is supposed to come out in different parts of the world in 3D on on April 7th. Uh, it's coming out here uh, March 31st. Oh, but you mean worldwide. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, worldwide. So Yeah, Warner Brothers is still somewhat committed to 3D Blu-ray. Well, it's, it's made on demand from Warner's Archive, so it's, it's easier. They just make it on uh, whenever somebody wants it. So Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like it's uh, just different parts of the world are getting at different times in April. So depending where you are, you might get it on the 7th and you might get it on the 21st. So, Wonder Woman 84 3D is coming out in April, apparently, as well. But at other parts of the world, so, we'll, you know, just giving you a heads up for the 3D and 2D releases for April of 2021. Not that much, but uh, Wonder Woman 84, just really, really quick. Um, I don't, I feel like giving it a 6 out of 10 was actually very fair. Um, I don't really want to see it again, though. <laughs> uh, the 3D uh, is worth it, though. It's really yeah. good. And uh, I uh, overrated it. I had a knee-jerk <laughs> reaction to the... Because uh, I thought this, like a Dark Phoenix, got a lot of fanboy hate that it didn't deserve. But it also didn't deserve my high rating, either. Of a seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Um, we all gave it a, a... Eventually landed on a six, so... Some t- you know, it's been a couple months since it came out on HBO Max, and um, yeah, it's it's definitely a little bit too long of a movie, and it, there's a lot of problems with the story. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. Yeah, but it's it's got so it's got a lot of good in it too. Yeah, I it's mean, enjoyable. Yeah, uh, Pedro Pascal is incredible as Maxwell Lord. He's also more interesting than he is in the comics. Yeah, over the top, but also subtle enough, which is kind of mm-hmm. ironic. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly, because he's modeled on Trump, but he behaves better than Trump ever would in real life. Yeah, and more successful. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Remember, Dynasty is in Super 3D and Quadraphonic Sound. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so that's going to be it for the April releases of 2021. Uh, we'll try to cover... Um, maybe one of us can finally review some of one of these movies. We'll see. We'll try. Um, but we already had a review up of Wonder Woman eighty four. Hopefully, Mortal Kombat we can see and review. Um, I, I'm gonna if if I can't see a three D version, I will watch it HBO Max and we'll we'll do a review that way. But we'll, you know, hopefully we can see it here, and it's not a hundred five hundred mile drive to to see it. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I never thought I would say this, but hurry up, Avatar 2, and come out and save 3D. <laughs> With that, we'll wrap up this podcast. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye, Bye. everybody. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano 3D, Mr. Bengal 5, and Kevin Winter for your financial support on Patreon.com. So that's going to be it for this podcast. Thanks for listening. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email 3D or 2D at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.